A recipe for chocolate chip cookies calls for three scoops of chocolate chips. You decide to use one scoop less of chocolate chips than the recipe calls for. In order to accommodate the number of kids you will host at a birthday party, you also quadruple this modified recipe. To find a variable to represent the amount of chocolate chips that the original recipe calls for. Let's use the variable n. We will say n equals the number of scoops of chocolate chips in the original recipe. For b, better an equation that represents the known amount of chocolate chips in the original recipe. The original recipe calls for three scoops of chocolate chips, and therefore the equation that represents this known amount is n equals three. For part c, we are asked to construct an equation representing the series of mentioned alterations above to reflect the amount of chocolate chips used in the mixture when done. Keep track of each alteration in a separate equation. We begin with the equation n equals three, and now let's review the alterations. First, you decide to use one scoop less of chocolate chips than the recipe calls for. We can represent this alteration by using this equation and writing an equivalent equation by subtracting one on both sides. So the equivalent equation that represents the first alteration is n minus one equals three minus one. The next alteration is you decide to quadruple this modified recipe to quadruple amount means to take four times the amount. To express this alteration, we take this equation and write an equivalent equation by multiplying both sides by four. Multiplying by four will give quadruple the amount. There's a couple ways to express this because multiplication is commutative. We could express an equivalent equation as the quantity n minus one times four equals the quantity three minus one times four but normally in an equation, we would use the commutative property of multiplication and write this as four times the quantity n minus one equals four times the quantity three minus one. Either one is correct, but this is probably more common. Let's move along to part D, and I've copied the last equation here in blue. For D, when the recipe is complete, how many scoops of chocolate chips were used in the altered recipe? Remember, this equation here represents the two alterations to the original recipe. This equation is also telling us the expression on the left is equivalent to the expression on the right. To determine the number of scoops of chocolate chips used in the altered recipe, we need to evaluate the expression on the right side of the equation. So let's go ahead and do that here on the side. Four times the quantity three minus one Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. This is equal to four times two, and four times two is equal to eight. So now we know the altered recipe used eight scoops of chocolate chips. For part E, what is the expression that describes the number of scoops of chocolate chips in the altered recipe. So now we're looking for an expression that describes the number of scoops, which should be the left side of the equation, which is the expression four times the quantity n minus one. And then finally for F, suppose you begin with a recipe that used a different number of scoops of chocolate chips in the original recipe. Remember before, we defined the number of scoops in the original recipe as n. You do the same alterations to this recipe as before. The result is using 16 scoops of chocolate chips in the altered recipe. Write an equation that describes this situation. So in this case, n is not equal to three, but we can still use this expression to represent the alterations to the original recipe, which means the equation is four times the quantity n minus one, but now this must equal the number of scoops used, which is 16. So this equation does describe this situation, but if we take it one step further, and we wanted to determine the number of scoops of chocolate chips in the new original recipe, we can look at this equation and recognize that four times four is equal to 16. So if n minus one must equal four, n must equal five. So the new original recipe, in this case, 
would have required five scoops of chocolate chips to begin with. I hope you found this helpful.